Hello, it's Ardio. I've decided to try something different. I've seen it on other sites. So what you do is you pick the stone that you feel most drawn to, and then I read your, uh, what are those called? They're not tarot cards, they're, uh, oracle cards. So then I'll read your oracle cards depending on what you choose. I tried to make it pretty. I mean, you all know I work in the rat hole. That looks kind of pretty, right? Okay, so this is a tower of citrine, a ball of obsidian, a sun of pyrite, and a stone of prophecy, which is actually goethite over marcasite. But it's pretty cool. It's all pokey. People call it the prophecy stone. But I thought I'd tell you what it really is. So let's go. Here's my book to read to you. If you chose, I'll give you another minute. Okay, let's start with the citrine, which is Gnosis. Let's see, 50, 60, 75. Lots of weight in the back. Oh, let's way, way in the back. It is Gnosis. True knowledge is not found in facts and figures and scholarly books on library shelves. Rather, Gnosis points to the deep and timeless archetypal wisdom that rises from the felt experience of having touched the unknown with every one of the senses. Those who are drawn to Gnosis find themselves in esoteric studies, likely involving mysticism, alchemy, healing, or perhaps science. Knowing is their calling. Not knowing is their job description. No matter how far the alchemists take their secret, take their studies, they come to the ultimate conclusion that facts slip toward mystery, and soon the mystery results in facts. The card signifies a knowing that is life-changing. Once you experience it, you are forever changed and become a guardian of Gnosis. The eternal mystery is calling you. Study your passion in the deepest way available to you. Well. Wow. It's not hard to do at all. Okay. This one is the Starborn. Oh, only three. We go from the clear in the back to clear in the front. Right. The Starborn. An elusive yet radiant aspect of the self. The Starborn archetype points to the cosmic spark of light that arrives with each being at birth. The moment the newborn crowns, whether vaginally or surgically, the royal stars above are said to constellate in a unique shape that maps our path in the world. The idea of destiny is controversial, yet the starborn naturally feels a sense of destination and purpose, aiming itself toward a future that is beyond the mundane. When this card appears, travel back to your birth story for clues and insight. What did you desire when you were young? Practice seeing your life from a mythic point of view rather than as a series of logistics. Read the story of the three fates and envision yourself born under the stars with a unique destiny. Huh. All right, for the pyrite sun, the fault line, forty-nine. Fault line. Here. 
Imagine walking across a frozen lake that begins to crack before your eyes. No matter how optimistic and brave you might be, panic ensues. You become fearful and tense and long for stable ground such as the energy of the fault line. It's the energy of walking on eggshells, of precarious dynamics, of sensing what is ready to break open into chaos. It's likely this cracking open is overdue as fault lines develop slowly and naturally from underlying elemental pressures. This card comes as a potent warning not to deny the shakiness that's afoot. It's much better to prepare yourself for change than to walk along the fault line pretending all is well. There's no easy fix for the situation at hand. It will require a foundational shift that alters the current dynamics from the ground up. That makes sense kind of because uh, pyrite suns, pyrites grow in, pyrite grows in cubes, but when they grow between these plates of uh, slate, it only happens in a few places, they grow out like this instead of growing in cubes. So I'm ready for a change. Well, that's a big old change for pyrite. Okay, and the prophecy stick. Number four, the vision. Maybe I should have turned these over before. So, oh, that's not four. That's like 45. Isn't that bad? Okay, the vision. It is said that we are each born with a unique vision, a destiny toward which we are aimed. It is also said that we forget this vision the moment we are born. Thus, we are sent on a lifelong journey of rediscovery, such as the elusive nature of the vision. It slips away, yet it guides. It appears in strange dreams and surreal images, seemingly unattainable and, and preposterous. When we are connected to the vision, we carry an inspired, enchanted aliveness that others recognize. We trust the world and its synchronicities. We walk through new doors into wondrous opportunities. We all want to be near those with vision. They emit energy more potent than any elixir. When we lose connection to the vision, life becomes dull and exhausting, lacking meaning. Bring back the mystery, bring back the dreams. And this is my no, I can't remember what these, God, how these cards are called. The Oracle card readings. So depending on which stone you chose, that's your Oracle. This is Ardio, signing out.